you could say after this one is, wow, are you kidding me? They played it like a national championship game. Top ranked South Dakota State, third ranked Montana State, right down to the wire. Let's show you how this one goes. First quarter, Cats looking for a turnover. Danny Yu in pursuit. Mark Gronowski bounces it off his knee, and the Cats recover a fumble. Moments later, Sean Chambers keeps it and scores. Bobcats up 7-0. And the Bobcats were flawless on defense in that first half. They shut out the Jacks and held them to under 90 yards of total offense. SDSU comes out of the locker room in a fury, though. Gronowski doing it with his legs this time to put SDSU on the board, and it's 10-7 just like that. Fast forward, start of the fourth quarter. Here's where it gets wild. Same score. Gronowski threads it to his tight end, Zach Hines, for the lead. Jacks would miss the PAT, so they were only up 13 to 10. If ever the Cats could use an eight-minute drive, it would be now. Chewed up about six minutes, and with about two minutes left, here comes Brendan Hall, the SMU transfer for the lead. Sneaks it through, 16-13 Montana State. But answering in just two plays, Gronowski to the shifty Griffin Wildy. 20 to 16, South Dakota State as Wildy finds the end zone. Play of the game, Chambers scrambles, fires to the end zone. It's caught and ruled a touchdown. But the officials go to the monitor. There is one second left on the clock, and also the pass is in. The officials also flag MSU for unsportsmanlike and a 15-yard penalty. So here we go again with one second left on the clock. Chambers to the end zone, helplessly falls incomplete. And the final score tonight, 20 to 16, South Dakota State survives at home. Um, so the second game of the season, we're going to make mistakes. We made too many tonight, and unfortunately that causes the game. But um, I think the encouragement lies in knowing that we didn't give it our best and still got more to give. It comes down to you know a uh, play at the end, but there's so much more to it than that um, through the course of the game, uh, and we'll uh, we'll re regroup and get back to work on Monday. And one other note, Coach Vegan says quarterback Tommy Malott was injured tonight, didn't reveal the nature of it, but says he will be evaluated. Once again, the national champs survived this one at home, 20 to 16. Your final in a thriller from Brookings, South Dakota. Scott Breen, MTN Sports.